my god! <laughs> 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 Hello everyone, it's Pirate Stringer here, and today I'm back for another video to play Five Nights at Wario's MLS Edition. Now, the last time I played this game, I actually managed to like complete all the way to like night three to six, and we also got the second achievement for flashing like 500 times on custom night, but there is one more thing that we need to do to finish this 100%. And that is, beat the max mode. So all we had to do for this type of achievement to unlock it is we had to set everybody on 20 mode. And as you can see, it changes to red, like the background right here. So if it changes to red, that means there's a chance that, like I can like unlock the award and all that. So let's see how many attempts we can do, or by being my first attempt, that would be incredible, but let's see how we can do this. All right, let's start and see how much progress we can do. So the goal here is we have to check on everybody in the cameras, which will, oh, whoa, music. All right. All right, hopefully this is not copyrighted. Ooh, it's actually a little bit louder. Hold on, let me turn that down. Oh, hey. Wow, very lucky. Oh! I forgot about Taka. I totally forgot Taka's located in the bathroom. Okay, well, that's my first attempt, so... Let's try that again. And make sure I won't make that mistake again. Alright, well, take two. Okay. Okay, well, that's all I can do, guys. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh-oh. Come on. Uh, I think I'm dead. Ah! Dang. Rick actually got me. Well, that's a death, all right. Wow. I actually did really good, actually. Wow. Not bad for a second attempt right there. Okay, so it seems like you gotta, like, save as much power as possible while you're trying to deal with L Luna. Because I think Luna's the only one I have to be aware of the most. Well, I'm trying to deal with power and stuff. Oh, shut that door. There we go. Alright, I don't know who left first. Oh, shoot! I ah, forgot LMLS was still there. Alright, well, that's a fail right there. I was pretty close, but, uh, well, I screwed up. Well, I could just try this again. Why not? Okay. Oh, there she is. I was gonna lose her. Uh, what? If smoke fully appears in front of you, quickly pull up your camera. He won't give you much time. Oh, wow. So he got me instantly right there. Oh, well, that's too bad, because I was so close to beating it. Yeah, I was very close to beating it. I guess he didn't give me much time there, even though I was... Yeah, even though I pulled up my camera, I like... I guess when I used the lights, I guess he got me pretty quick there. Which, that can be possible, that could happen. That's okay. Well, that's fine. I can just try this again. Well, I'm dead. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Well, that attempt, I lost more power this time because now in this attempt, they're smarter, so... That's pretty much how I died. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Ah, dang. Rick Ashley was still there. For that moment, I thought she actually left, but no, she was still there. There she is. Ah, Taka didn't give me much time.
Dang, she actually did not give me much time to stop her. Oh, she was on 20, so maybe I should have stopped her first before I find L Muna. Oh, crap, I thought I heard something. Um, I guess in my mind, I thought I heard her leave, but she was actually still there while Bourgeois was there. All right. Okay, well, Rick actually was there. Well, guys, that's it. Ah, dang. Wow, no chance to live right there. Oh, well. Oh, it's either a loss or a win. It's a lost. Crap. Either, either it's a win or a lose. No! Ah! Damn it. Ah. Wow. MLS was still there. Oh, crap. Ah, they were both there. Crap. So, e either way, when the power goes out, they'll, they'll kill you no matter what, so... I actually did not expect them to be this hard when they're, like, uh, still there. So, it seems like these characters actually don't give you a chance to live. So, either way, when you uh, run out of power, you're, you're completely screwed. So, I'm pretty sure this is all about, like, uh, try not to, like, mess up or else you die. both of them. Thank you. <laughs> Can we wait for a bit? Unless, uh, Rick Ashley appears a little earlier. Good. There she is, wow. Oh crap, you're there. Alright. That's fine. Leave it that way. Perfect. Shut the door. You're there. Perfect.
Well, that's perfect. Because Rick Ashi was there. Oh, wow. Thank God. Okay, well, that wasn't so bad than I thought. I, I think all I have to do is just get lucky, that's all. I guess that, uh, sort of, like, figure out, like, like Rick Ashley's skills and all that, because mostly... Oh. Think you... Think you know the truth, press space. Okay, so let me explain, like, how I did it. So, so at the very beginning... I noticed that Rick Ashley and MLS like appear both at the same time. And mostly what I have to do is like uh check on them as much as possible. And another trick here is I have to like uh try not to lose as much power at the very beginning. Because all I have to do is just like sit there and do nothing for a bit. And that's pretty much all I had to do. Just like wait for like a couple of seconds and then start like the action and all that. But I noticed that Ashley, Rick Ashley, appears like uh, a little bit early around like 2 a.m. So mostly what I have to do is like uh, kind of like just check on her first and then shut the door. But I believe at, uh, at 4 a.m. then when MLS is like banging on my door, I'm just going to like second guess that Ashley was there so that so that I don't use the cameras too much just to save a bit of power. But also for bourgeois, I think. I think I just got to get lucky where his location is. But as for the rest of the characters, they're pretty easy to deal with. Especially Luna, because this time Luna is very cooperated this time. So, which is a great start, actually. Anyways, let's check out this, uh, what is this? There's more than you expect. Okay. Uh, it'll take a while, but you'll need to be smart. But I am clever, genius. Much clever than you think. Have fun staying out there. You will see what you need. Whoa, what is all these words right here? <laughs> is that... Is that uh, the smiley face? I mean, is that... Is that a, it looks like an actual mouth. I wonder if that's... Uh, Entity 01. Because of the music. Possibly. It might be possible that is uh, Entity 01 because of the smiley face, or looks like a, or it could be a god. I don't know. I don't know anything about the the seers about this game, but uh, maybe that's a secret. So yeah, guys, we're done. We just 100% completed Finance of Wario's MLS edition, and wow, so far this is like one of the hardest like. Well, this is like one of the hardest like modes that uh, MLS ever created. Well, it's mostly because of the custom night, but somehow my final attempt, I think I just got a little bit lucky with the power because for the first time I uh, kind of like screwed up and then other times like I actually like died like no matter what because of bourgeois location and all that. So I think that that moment, I think I got very unlucky with some of my attempts because, well, it's mostly because of bourgeois location. But hey, on my final attempt, I feel like I just got very lucky there. Just by saving as much power as possible. Well, that's just the best strategy I can think of. Just sort of like, uh, guess if they're there or not. Then that actually kind of helped, actually. Just at the final moment and all that. But hey, guys. Yeah, we just finished this game, but yeah, this is definitely worth it to try it out. And uh, this... This one, this game is also on the ranking system, like in the middle ranking system, and it's definitely worth it. So, but yeah, so the nights are definitely like not as long than I thought. 
it's usually like uh, five five minutes just to like finish one night. So, but hey, it's what most Fiance of Warriors fan games are. They're always five minutes, but there's some Fiance of Warriors fan games are longer than that. So, but hey, it's well balanced and all that. And uh, so far for my difficulty for this game, but for my honest opinion, didn't really struggle way much. And there is like a a bit of like a luck base you have to do in the maximum 20 mode. But I think it's like, uh, I think most of the characters are like more cooperated. So I think I'll just like set the scale on hard. Well, due to the custom night, if the custom night was very easy, I would have like set it on normal or something. But hey, this is like the only like uh, Fine Swords family game that MLS like made this a little bit difficult this time. Because the other games I that I played were... Not as difficult than this one, so that's just my opinion, and uh, that's just the way I experienced this game. Most likely, it's a generic mod, so but yeah, this is like, but this is not the hardest generic mod I ever tried. Um, I think the hardest generic mod I'm trying to beat was definitely like uh, Final Warriors Return, and that one seemed to be a little bit harder than I expected. And Scuttlebug Edition, I think they updated the problem because of that bug and all that, so... Well, I'm glad they actually fixed that problem. So yeah, guys. That's it. And, uh, yeah, this is a this is actually a good game and all that. And, uh, it seems like there are some secrets about this game. And especially, like, Return of the Factory MLS Edition. Seems like that one also has some secrets. But it seems like, uh, I... There might be some, like, uh, some sec more secrets of the whole, like, MLS edition series, so if if you guys really want me to play any of those games, then, uh, well, if it's highly requested, then I'll give it a go. And if I run out of ideas, then, uh, we'll see if I'll do a stream or not. But yeah, so that's it for this video, and yep, we 100% complete it, and hope you guys enjoyed this video, and the next video, I actually might play a uh, Final Warriors family game that's also on the ranking system, and it kind of inspires Christmas, so I don't know what it's called, but uh, I'm going to find it on the ranking system and like give it a go, because, well, December's coming up pretty soon, so that's why I'm going to like start playing like Final Warriors family games that inspire like winter and Christmas and stuff, so that's the goal what I'm doing. And I think there's a Final Wars family game that's uh, Christmas edition, I believe, but people said it was broken, so... But I think about just making a video of it because the community thing is probably lower, so... That's something I'm planning, like, somewhere in December. Probably, like, close to Christmas, or who knows. But pretty sure I'll be playing, like, uh, most likely Christmas games until Christmas comes out. So that's the plan here for, for December. But yeah, guys. I will see you guys in the next video and next live stream. All right, see everybody, and hope you guys have a good morning, good afternoon, and good evening.